our first point, you know, that we took in from the shadows. <gasps> oh man, <laughs> how did he not wake up? Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental, and we are playing on the Insane series, where we have the zombies all set to insane difficulty and nightmare speed, and we are continuing right where we left off. So we got a Zeeker walking around that way. If you uh, if you caught the last episode, we had uh, a little bit of bad luck. No, let me rephrase that. We had a lot of bit of bad luck. <laughs> and what we're trying to do is we're trying to start this quest and do this fetch quest on this house but um yeah we got in trouble and we even actually died had our first death which really sucks but it is what it is um so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get into you know the yard to start that quest and then get in the house but it's still a little bit hot and the thing the thing that i can't have happen is that i can't have um the zombies you know zombies coming from the outside rushing us while we're trying to get into the house now once i can get into the house and you know kind of block the doorways and that sort of thing you know we can we can advance but it's just been really tough getting in there uh, what started all of our bad luck in the last episode was a damn buzzard up on the roof that attacked me and then everything just kind of went downhill from there so uh that's kind of where we're at and um one other one just quick announcement too um in the last episode I thought that um, Hawaii Five-O, the fat zombie with the Hawaiian shirt, um, broke our, our bottom block on our platform. But when I watched uh, the video when I was editing it, I noticed that it wasn't actually him. It was me. <laughs> uh, so swinging the, uh, the sledgehammer, if you swing it right to the edge, it actually goes through the land claim block and hits the frame underneath, which is really stupid and really crazy. But that's actually what happened. And the, way I, the reason I know that is because... I saw, you know, I saw it hit wood um, on the on the first hit before it broke, and then on the second hit when it did broke, I, I, we, I we actually collected some wood in our inventory, so I know that it was me. So we're going to have to be really careful on this little platform when we're swinging this. We don't want to swing it, you know, right next to the edge of this because apparently, like I said, it goes all the way through and hits the edge, which really sucks. Okay, so enough of that. Let's see. We have uh, we don't have a whole lot of stone, man. We really need some more stone uh, to do this but i mean that's all we have right now i do have a bedroll um somewhere right over in that area um yeah right over there and a chest but it's it's just really dangerous right now to to be moving around because we got another hawaii 50 there we've got some dude over there we've got uh, a crawler in the backyard i just saw um arlene and there's another hawaii 5 over there so it's just Oh my god, this is crazy. So let's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave this platform here. And I also need to make some more uh, wood frames too, so let's get that going. And uh how much wood do I have? 230. Yeah, we got lots of wood. So let's just make 20 more uh of that. And uh, what we're gonna try and do is sneak into the backyard and as quietly as possible kill that crawler. And if we can do that without attracting any more Zeekers, then we should be able to go ahead and start this quest and get into the house. Now, I'm very afraid of of that buzzard um, respawning. He was right there on, on that part of the roof. We had jumped up on the garage there, and then he attacked us, and he hurt us really bad, uh, and including giving us a concussion. So I had to take my only pain pill to, you know, to fix it. So, um... I mean, there's nothing for it, but we just gotta we just gotta go. Okay, so wish me luck, and let's do this. We're gonna leave this here, so I, you know, if, if we get in trouble, I can hopefully run back out here and get up here before, you know, before it's too late. So let's just be as quiet as we can. I just don't have enough resources to, you know, be throwing more rocks and that sort of thing. Now, where did that crawler go? I think he went into the garage. So we're going to go around this way. There's a land claim place inside the PO. Oh, shit. I forgot all about that. Yeah, we can't start the quest because of my LC block. 
All right. Well, in that case, we just we're going to have to take it down. And what we'll do instead is we'll put a wooden frame up there and we'll have to, you know, if, if we have to use this little platform, um, we will, we'll just have to keep it repaired. I guess the other thing we could try is start the quest and then put the LC block down, but we might want to use that in the house too, so. Okay. Okay, there's the crawler right there. Quest is started. So, this is a fetch quest. And it looks like our fetch item is actually on the first floor. I think... I'm not sure how it wants us to enter this POI. Usually they place like a light uh, to, you know, on where you're supposed to go. And I do see a light up there, but that's also where the buzzard was. If he's still up there, I don't know if he is or not. So, is this door open? It is. Hopefully there aren't any Zekers right in here. Okay. Let's just upgrade that a little bit. Now, the nice thing about being in here is, you know, if we do get rushed by one or two, we can probably take them out by putting a frame down and that sort of thing. If we get rushed by a bunch of them, we could be in trouble. Of course, we can climb up that ladder. I don't know that they can. Especially if we took that out. All right. So I don't think Zekers can get to us as we climb up here. Now we do have a bag. Oh, nice. That will take, I don't care about the pumpkin seeds. We, we can worry about that way later. So the question now is, is that buzzard over there? It's really hard to tell because it's pretty dark. If he is, then I want to kind of scooch back down here in the hatch. Yeah, he's there. Why am I going so damn slow? Now, buzzards will, as you can see, they'll attack blocks now, which is which is new for here for alpha. <laughs> Sucker. Uh, which is new for alpha. Uh, whatever this alpha is. 19. <laughs> Okay, good. I was really worried about this guy, but uh, that actually worked out quite well. Um, so let's go ahead and harvest him and get the the feathers off of him in particular. I'm not really so worried about the bones and the rotten meat right now. Um, so yeah, let's just get rid of that stuff. But I do want the feathers. Okay, that worked very well, actually. Quite well. Now, um... Does it really expect us to jump on that thing from here? Boy, that seems a, a little risky. That seems a little risky. Well, you know what? We don't have to, because we can just use frames. We're going to leave those there, so if we have to make a hasty retreat back to the roof, uh, we could potentially pull them up behind us, and maybe it'll work. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Seems to me like I'm finding more eggs than I did in 18. All right. So what are our what's our ability to block that? Okay, we can block we can block that. Let's get rid of this. Good. All right. So if we need to, we can block that. I have bad memories about this place, you guys, <laughs> for the last episode. You know that Zeker that jumped us too up in the attic. 
She is one scary looking mofo. Very scary. Okay, there's somebody walking around outside. I want to kind of be as quiet as possible. I'd rather not get the attention of outside Zeekers for the moment. Another knife and another vitamin. Nice. All right, which one's better? Um, the one on the left is one point better. Compare does not include modded values. Oh, it's kind of cool that they put that in there, actually. Um, actually, that's really cool because, yeah, you, in 18, we had to take the mods off of our current device, our weapon tool, whatever, in order to actually compare. So I'm glad, I'm really glad, actually, that they, they made that change. Very nice. Okay, this is not worth anything, but... We don't have any repair kits, so I might hang on to it for the moment. Might hang on to it for the moment. Now for the scary part. We've got to go up into that attic, and um, bad things happened to us the last time we attempted that. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's think about a strategy here. If we get that Seeker coming through like the last time. We could try and get back down here, but if I get stuck in the in the ladder, which I'm li liable to do, um, you know, because we'll be in panic mode, well, that's not going to work. So can we, just kind of from here, build somewhat of a barricade? Hey, it's morning! Yay! Oh, shit. Let's just go. <laughs> yeah. That, I almost wonder if that zombie scripted because, I mean, I was not making any noise to speak of, and she, she just came out. Okay, so... How are we going to deal with this? I think I read in the patch notes that the zombies are supposed to be better at digging down now to try and get at you because they, they were pretty pathetic in Alpha 18 for that. So is she going to start trying to bang on this uh, hatch? Yep. She, oh, shit, she is. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get it back out here, and we're going to block this off. Good for her. So we got Edgar's attention, but I don't really give a shit about Edgar. He's not our, our, our immediate threat. All right, come here, lady. Over here, please, so I can hit you. Why? Oh, why isn't she... Why isn't she in the doorway? That's interesting. I can't get to her. All right, well, that's fine. I mean, if you want to break this one, that's we can break this one. right <laughs> we need that we absolutely need that uh iron crossbow bolts are not going to do us any good right now oh that was a nice nice find okay so we got ourselves a blunderbuss but fan freaking passing now see it sounds like sounds like they're up here yeah they are they are okay that's fine Looks like we have a, a Hawaii Five O. Uh, that that's the new um, like kind of random fall animation that they'll do, which is pretty cool. Um, yikes! Not good. Not good. Oh shit! Ah, uh, we're in trouble. Uh, no, no, no! Run, 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 run! Over here, quick! No, <laughs> this isn't working. Okay, over here, over here. Quick, 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 quick! Up here, up here. Okay, um, 
Yeah, that didn't that didn't work out so well. Oh, I got an idea. Uh, we gotta hurry though. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Let's get up here. Okay, now they can't get us. Well, at least that's the theory. Yeah, with two of those guys at the same time, that's uh, that's no bueno. How about if we we need more of these? Let's make another twenty. I want to be really conservative with our wood. What I'd like to do though is I'd like to get up back up into the attic because I don't think the Zekers can get up there. I might be wrong about that. Okay, good. So <clears throat> it does not appear to me that they can get up here. Let's get these frames back. Okay, so if the shit hits the fan, we bail off this way and back down to our platform. And let's get this out of the way just so it doesn't block us, because I got hung up on this the last time. <clears throat> Plus, we could use the wood anyway. And the XP. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Are they up? How did that happen? Oh, I see what's going on. Shit, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. All right, here, let's see. Could we do something like this? Now, they shouldn't be able to get out of here. Let's get this ready. Hello? Hello? Zombie? What? Where did he go? It's like he just completely vanished. Edgar, what are you doing, man? Um, there you are. Come here, dummy. You're messing with my head, Edgar. Okay, now, we have a lot... Man, it, that looks so nice out there. Look at the colors. Uh, we, we've lost track of frickin' Hawaii Five O. What happened to him? Let's keep the frame there. Oh, man, this is intense. Riding sports bag. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a bow upgrade. Maybe. Let's check it and double check. Check it and double check. Yep. It's not a huge bow upgrade, but it is a bow upgrade. So we will scrap that, and this is now our new bow. And we'll also take the jars. We do not need the paper or the charcoal right now. Okay. So far, so good. Now, with all the racket that we've made, you'd think that there's nobody else going to be awake down there, but I wouldn't... I wouldn't bet my bank account on it. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop down here and assess the situation. It does not appear to, uh, there does not appear to be any Zekers in this room. Does that door close? It does. Okay. So this, oh, you know what? This could also be another escape route for us. We got caught up on this um this um thing madoodle here though. So what if we remove this? That way we can just jump right over that way if we need to. Okay. That's a good plan. So we we shouldn't have to escape back up to there, but let's just keep a block there just in case. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harvest the 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 radiator because we just don't have room for that kind of thing right now. Okay, let's put that there. And we'll see if uh 
anyone's going to come this way. I'd use my land plane block to block, block the door, but we have, we're so low on stone right now. So let's hang on to that unless we get in a really bad situation. Yeah, there's not going to be anything behind there. Okay, well. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's block that momentarily so we have it can buy us a tiny bit of time if something comes up the stairs. Okay, we got a burner. What's up, skater punk? You look about the same as you always have. You're a little yellower though. <laughs> Oh, out of stamina. Yeah, these are the kind of Zekers we need to be killing right now, because they're not quite as bad as Edgar and Hawaii 5 -0. Whew. Okay. It's a slow process in the beginning here, guys. It is a slow process. But we will get there. We will get there. I'm just kind of waiting to see if something's going to try and come up the stairs before we take this out. I wonder if they broke the stairs out or something. Oh wow, look at these bags, man. That's a that's a, that's an improvement too. A nice little high res burlap looking bag there. Well, I'll say one thing for Alpha 19, man. They sure improved the graphics um, significantly. Stuff looks really good uh, here in this Alpha. Okay, well, we can't stay here forever. So, let's let's just upgrade that to one level. We can always retreat back to this room. Yeah, the stairs are broken out. Okay, good. We've got a bathroom and another room here. Okay, this will give us some leather, which we're going to need. Don't really need the paper right now. Normally I'd ha harvest... Oh, look at that. We have no lockpicks, though. We could we could find something hugely valuable in that safe for for us guys. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bang on it with our stone axe for a little while, or or the sledge. Probably the axe is probably gonna be faster. I don't think there's anybody up here. So. How much? Okay, we have six stones. Yeah, we should be able to do this. All right, I will. Uh, I'll just time lapse this, and then I'll bring you guys back when we get uh, the safe open. All right, that only took twelve million years. Um, let's see what we got. Not particularly useful, except for this might be a little better than this, which it is. Okay, you know something else? I hope that they've done here in Alpha uh, Nineteen. Is I hope they have made the higher tier weapons better than the lower tier. I mean, I, st I like the random idea, but it really sucked when you found, you know, like, say, a green sledgehammer and your orange one was actually better, better stats. Uh, in that, that case in particular, because of the fact that, you know, you didn't have as many mod slots. So, whoops. Uh, hopefully they have improved that situation. This has four block damage damn my cost yeah nah we don't need that so that was not probably really worth the 12 million years that it took me to open that but that's okay you know one of the things too about alpha 19 is that your game stages affect your you know your loot tier and so you know we're not going to be able to open a safe at level one and find an ak anymore which which is the way it should be really i mean that was that was a little op in Alpha 18. You could find AKs before you found damn near any other gun, it seemed. Uh, so that was a little unbalanced. But, hey, wait a minute. 
there somebody in here? Oh, that's the room we came in. Okay. That's the room we came in. Okay, now we've got to figure out how we're going to get downstairs without getting eaten. That's our next objective here. We're not able to, to get him. If I put that block there, is she going to hit it? Before we stand on it, let's see what the deal is. I could use the blunderbuss, but I kind of want to conserve the ammo on that for really bad situations. Here's what we'll do. We've got some arrows. What am I thinking? They don't seem to be hitting this block. they do hit it, though, we, uh, we need to jump back up on the other one ASAP or we're going to be in trouble. Let's try the spear from here. Uh, see, we don't want to hit our own block. That's the problem we, get, we ran into in episode two. <laughs> that fall down animation is funny. Ah, okay. There we go. We got to hit that time. Yeah, just stay there, lady. No, I said stay there. What's the matter with you? Oh, 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 she's hitting that block. Not good. See, if that would have been an, an Egger or a Hawaii 5 -0, they would have one-shot that block. Like I said, it's a little slow going. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. Let's break this wall out and just see what's going on in that room in there. Our satchel is very close. Okay, they're back down here. You know what? This is taking too long. Nurse Nancy, where the hell did you come from? And cheerleader, too. We got a twofer. Looks like we killed cheerleader. Nice. Come on, Nurse Nancy. Come here, Nurse Nancy. Let's try the spear. Man, you have to really watch it or you hit the wood. That is different than 18. Uh-oh, that's kind of weird. I'm supposed to be... I just threw the spear, but the animation didn't work. Okay, we got another level. I think... Is Crawler the last one we have to worry about? It kind of sounds that way. It also sounded like Crawler just fell down. How does that work? <laughs> oh, we're in the Fat Loot's room. And our satchel is somewhere in here. What I'm going to do is let's just kind of block these off for the moment so nothing jumps us. Oh, look at that, guys. Cooking pot. We need that, actually. Nice. And some food. We need that. Um, we better eat that right now. I guess we have some chili, too. Let's just eat both of those things. We need to find some good, some clean water. Uh, but we have a cooking pot now, which is great, because now what we can do is, uh, you know, make clean water. Okay. We'll save that for later. Was that blunderbuss ammo or... Ooh, okay. Nice. Nice stuff. Okay, let's take this guy out. Let's try to get my arrows back from him. Speaking of which...
All right, I think we finally cleared this house. Man, what a job that was, huh? That's kind of gross. Okay, yeah, we got a nice little collection of jars. Let's see what's in here. And then we'll go, uh, we'll get the satchel and we'll, we'll hit the fat loots. It's two stone shovels and an anvil. Anvil is very welcome. I don't know that we really want to take up inventory space with these right now. They're so easy to make. So I'm going to scrap them. Where is this satchel? It's right in here. Excellent. How about a wrench? Uh, well, we got two cooking pots. And a grill. Okay, we'll take that. How about some coffee? Oh, man, we needed some coffee. Uh, we'll scrap those. Okay, let's look at the... Oh, we already did that. I knew that. I was just testing you guys. I don't care about lead right now. All right, guys, that's it. We finally did it. That was a that was one hell of a, a struggle, but we finally made it happen. And we hit another level. Let's see what we're going to put that point into, and then I need to let you go. Uh, so let's hunker down here and take a look at our skills. I think it is without question we are going to put um, a point in here. Uh, so that way we can make a forge. Uh, and we have an anvil all ready to go with it, too, which is fantastic. Okay, guys, that is it. I'm going to go um, hit the, the nearest water hole and fill up all of my jars and then um, set up a campfire and make some water because we are really thirsty. Um, not sure that I want to put these on yet because they reduce our noise or increase, rather, our noise by 20%, which is pretty significant. It, pretty, it completely negates our first point, you know, that we took in from the shadows. <gasps> Oh, man, how did he not wake up? Crap, hold on. <laughs> My heart rate is like, how did he not wake up? We even stepped on the trash. Holy crap. That deserves a spirit of the head. There you go. Come here, dummy. Yeah, man, the hitbox on the on the blocks is not quite right. Yeah, our stamina is terrible, but, but we're also we're also really thirsty too. Man, I cannot believe that guy didn't wake up. We are so lucky. <laughs> we are so damn lucky. Oh man. Okay. Um, we're going to take all that stuff. This we will sell. And we'll probably just end up selling these two because here again, they're just going to make make us too loud right now. Uh, we did get this club and we got a, a better spear too. So let's ditch one of the spears, the one that's the most damaged, which is this one. And we'll replace it with this one. This club, do we want to try a club? They're supposed to be better here in Alpha 18. I don't, boy, I don't know, though. The thing is, is it's a matter of inventory space, and this is really our main melee weapon. I, I might hang on to it uh, for just a, a while and see how things go. All right, guys, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way back to the trader to get this quest turned in. When we get back there, um, I'll show you what the reward is, and then we'll wrap up the episode. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut and, and just meet you there. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, we had an uneventful trip back, except for I couldn't. Uh, keep myself from looting everything under the sun, so we're super encumbered. But let's uh, see what we get. You're giving me 150 44 Magnum ammo right now at stage one? <laughs> or uh, or a semi-trigger mod? Well, this is worth a lot of money, uh, so we're going to take that. Plus we get 330 more Dukes and 2500 XP. Um, okay, and let's do a new job. I don't I st again. I don't want to do a buried supplies right now because um, they're just too damn risky. So let's um, let's do another fetch. Man, these are so damn far away though. Whew. Um, 
buried supplies. If we take this, I have to figure out how, how, how we could potentially do it. Because see what, again, what happens is they're going to spawn in three to four running, nightmare speed running zombies on us as soon as we, you know, um, open the thingamadoodle. Oh, that could be hard to deal with. Okay, well, gosh dang it, these are so far away. Tell you what, I'm not going to do any of these right now. I'm not going to do any of these right now. Um, let's focus on a base. That's what we need to do next. But before we do that, I'm going to sell a few things. So let's sell this knife uh, to her. Will she buy these? She sure will. Uh, I'm just going to sell this armor to her. We just don't need it right now. I'm going to sell all of the magnums because they're not doing us any good right now. Uh, I made, by, by the way, I made 13 clean waters before we came back uh, here. I'm going to sell all of the brass. Um, again, I kind of hate to do that, but the money's more valuable to us right at the moment. Anything else? Yeah, let's sell these motor parts. We get 120 coin for that. We can sell one of the cooking pots. And the uh, military armor parts, we don't need those. I want to hang on to the fittings. I think that's it. I think that's it. I want to hang on to you know to these bullets because and the the shotgun ammo because we probably will you know come across a weapon that can use those fairly soon now she had she had an orange pistol that we were we saw earlier for 1920 so we're getting close to actually being able to afford that and yeah, she restocks on day four okay so yeah, guys, uh, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and what we do in the next episode is we will find a base to live. Take care. We'll see you. Bye.